Detroit. I can't hear you, Maggie. Detroit. I can't hear you, Detroit. I grew up around music. It's my whole world. We got one more song for y'all tonight. If you told 12-year-old me that one day I'd be working for Grace Davis, she's an icon. You okay? Do I not look okay? No, you look great. Amazing. I know you think that she's going to give you this life-changing shot. Make you her producer? Yes. This woman doesn't even know your last name. She does. Sometimes. Margaret! Margaret! Hi. I want to go through my closet and donate things that aren't sparking joy. Joy. Joyful. Bam, the girl still give me goosebumps. Well, Grace, have you thought any more about the Vegas residency? Actually, I think it's time I record a new album. I mean, that's one plan. What am I supposed to say to her? I'm just a personal assistant, but I'd love to produce your music. There hasn't been a new Grace Davis record in a decade, and the fans want one. Let me do my job, and you do yours, which is get her coffee, Kleenex, Kotex, and whatever else the hell we've been paying you to do for the last six months. You get paid? I thought you were an intern. My life is a joke! I didn't want to tell you were Jack. I did a cut of the album. Hey, hey, I can hear y'all. Y'all know it's a damn microphone in there, right? I just wanted to take a shot. Who the hell you think you are, Missy Elliott? They don't love you, they don't love you. It's about trust and commitment. In the history of music, only five women over 40 have ever had a number one hit. And only one of them was black. It's not over for you. I could say to settle your mind, something approved. I know everyone is happy with me doing the same show every night. What if there's something more? I want to be a part of that. Is this your car? Yeah. You need to ask your boss for a raise. <laughs> Is the food coming, sir? We've been over this. We are not a drive through Well, it should be. It could be. Oh, my God. Is that Grace Davis? No. 